If you're a soccer coach looking to take your team's performance to the next level, you won't want to miss this video. We'll explore the critical concept of body profile positioning on the field and how it can make all the difference to your player's performance. You'll learn how the best players in the world, like Messi, De Bruyne, and Odegaard mastered this concept, giving them an edge over their opponents. With our tips on progressive training, you'll be able to help your players develop the same level of mastery, leading to better decision-making and a more competitive team. In this video, you will discover four drills to apply today in your training sessions, so get ready to boost your coaching skills and take your team to the top with our expert insights. First, we must know that the body profile concept guides how a player should orient his body when receiving the ball. A good body profile enables a player to prepare the player for his next action, like controlling forward, linking your actions, and breaking lines, and get a larger view of the field of play to take in key information. The opponent's goal, spatial awareness, the defender's and teammate's positioning, and the ball. In the first drill, we play a basic situation where we start with the movement of the receiver to get the ball and face forward in the two versus one situation. The first defender has to follow the first receiver. And after it, this player has to recover their position to change the two versus one into a two versus two. If the defensive team recovers the ball, they must pass it to their team. The rules are the attackers must cross by dribbling the mid zone before passing the ball to the opposing team. One point for the attacking team to pass from after crossing the midzone. Two points if the defensive team recovers the ball and passes to their teammates. In this second drill, we play a basic situation with three spaces, where the attacking team has to arrive at the last space and score on one of the small goals. Starting with a two versus one situation, the offensive team has to dribble to the following space to face another two versus one situation. They can score in the small goals if they arrive at the last space. If the defensive team recovers the ball, they can counterattack on the small goals. The rules in this drill are the first defender defends in first space. The second defender can defend in mid space and the last space. The offensive team has to dribble to progress to the following spaces. One point for scoring for the offensive team. Two points for scoring for the defending team. In the third drill of the session, we play a small side game with three spaces where the attacking team can score from all the spaces. We will apply a rule about the defender's restriction. They must defend on their space, which affects the offensive players because they can dribble and have a numerical advantage in the mid zone of the field. The rules are the defenders can defend only in their space. The offensive team can score from all the zones. Two points if the attacking team arrives at the last space through all the spaces and they score. To finish the session, we play a seven versus seven game with three spaces with the objective of scoring more goals than the opponent team to win the game. During this drill, we only have one rule for the defenders. Only one player in the back line can press the space between the lines, and we will give double value for the attacking team if they score a goal arriving to all three spaces. Thanks for watching our soccer video. We hope you enjoyed learning about the body profile concept. If you found this content valuable, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more soccer tips. Our goal is to help you improve your game and dominate on the field. So practice these four fantastic drills to take your skills to the next level. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.